Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your Weather Extreme video for Thursday, June the 21st, an important day. The summer solstice actually occurred at, I believe, 5.07 a.m., so it makes today the technically the longest day of the year in terms of daylight. Satellite image shows we're not going to see a lot of sunshine today because we have a good deal of clouds with a couple of different waves of showers and thunderstorms moving through north uh, and uh, northern uh, Alabama and northern Mississippi. Surface map shows that frontal system has uh, uh, sagged a little bit further to the south and a little bit closer. That, together with the 500 millibar pattern where we've been watching this uh, closed low that is coming out of the Dakota area and coming into the middle Mississippi River Valley, those combining to help create the uh, wet weather with waves of showers and thunderstorms over the next couple of days through probably uh, Friday at least and maybe even into uh, Saturday. Temperatures this morning uh, vary. If you're in the rain, you're probably in the lower 70s or maybe even the upper 60s. If you're uh, outside the rain area, you're probably in the mid 70s. There's a look at radar showing uh, the two waves that we see, one over in North Alabama and one over northern Mississippi. The uh, watch warning map is not too cluttered. We have heat advisories over the southwestern U.S., and you see some flash flood uh, watches. The dark green areas dotted from Montana and Idaho down across uh, Illinois and into West Virginia. And the uh, state of Mississippi is showing up because of an amber alert. QPF-wise, much of the rain coming probably over the next couple of days, but the next five days rain, uh, this is through Thursday uh, morning. And basically, you can see that uh, we're going to be having a good deal of rain over the, uh, pardon me, this is through Tuesday morning, sorry, and uh, we're going to see a good deal of rain over the next uh, couple, three days uh, along that, and, and along that frontal system as well. WPC, uh, the heavy precipitation folks, looking for the possibility of excessive rainfall, uh, generally just uh, along into the north of that frontal system from a little west of Chicago all the way down into extreme uh, northeastern North Carolina. SPC has marginal risks that do impact uh, Alabama today. Uh, again, it's kind of along uh, the frontal boundary, but also associated with that upper trough. The upper trough and the closed low move by uh, and become the closest to us on uh, day two, uh, which is Friday. And that indeed is the day we uh, see a slight risk over about the northern half of Alabama. And then for day three, the slight risk moves back into the central U.S. Tropics in the Atlantic are very quiet, and they're pretty quiet in the eastern Pacific. We have one area of disturbed weather being watched, but not expected to develop anything in the next couple of days. 06C GFS model run, and uh, here comes the low-pressure system at the surface uh, over the central U.S., and uh, it's dragging that front down into Louisiana across parts of Tennessee, Alabama, and uh, Mississippi. And uh, along and ahead of that upper trough, you can see it over northern Missouri, and a nice trough down into the lower Mississippi River Valley. That trough moves uh, into the western Ohio River Valley on um, Friday, and that gives us the, the best chances, I think, for some rain. And in addition to that, Cape values uh, go way high. We've got values ranging from about... 12 or 1300 over North Alabama to as much as 3500 over the uh, southern part. And in addition to that, we noticed that the storm relative hum uh, helicity values, uh, the shear basically, is uh, up there. It's not huge, but it's uh, certainly sufficient. We may see isolated uh, an isolated tornado or two, but the main threat is probably going to be that of damaging straight line wind. The trough moves into the uh, eastern Great Lakes on Saturday, but there's a couple of little wiggles in there, some weak troughs. So Saturday, we may stay fairly wet as well, 
uh, with another few waves of uh, showers and thunderstorms developing, uh, all of that uh, adding to the uh, heating of the day. The upper air pattern seems to go a bit zonal for us on Sunday, so I think that kind of gets us back into more of a summertime pattern. We're watching a, another nice closed low out there over the northern Rockies. Um, but uh, GFS is not too bullish on any rain over our area, but I think we have to keep small chances in for Sunday. Uh, that closed low, uh, as it we, um, strengthens just a little bit, it helps to uh, create a weak ridge over the Mississippi River, and that moves over the southeastern U.S. on Tuesday. So once again, I think we're going to be seeing you know isolated showers in the afternoon, primarily due to heat of the day. And then on Wednesday, we see that uh, the, the trough moves into the Great Lakes area and it dampens down that ridge once again. But, you know, we're not seeing an air mass change. We've got to get this humidity out of here. So with the humidity in place, precipital water value staying up, basically we're going to see chances for showers and thunderstorms just about every day. And by Thursday, a week from today, uh, we see the pattern going a little bit uh, zonal across the southeastern U.S. and staying that way. But once again, showers, air mass showers and thunderstorms possible. Going out into voodoo country, and we do see a change. This is not a very happy change, unfortunately. Uh, but notice over there to the right of your screen, we're seeing a nice uh, development of the Bermuda High. And that is going to ridge into the eastern part of the U.S. We see it bulging in substantially by the 2nd of July as you can see it making its influence felt all the way from the east coast all the way over uh, into the uh, very close to the eastern slope of the Rockies. And by the end of the period at uh, the 5th of July, we see a nice 594 contour there over uh, part of the Carolinas and Virginia. And basically that's going to keep things rather warm. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I uh, hope that uh, you have a great day today. We'll uh, post the next one first thing on Friday morning. And remember, we're on a one-a-day schedule with James on vacation. I hope that you have a great day. Godspeed. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models. So give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.